Hello and welcome to another episode of Frotch on Fighting with me, Carl the Cobra Frotch. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you're enjoying this channel. That would be very much appreciated. We've received a lot of love for the George Grove series. Let me know in the comments below who you'd like to see me get on as a guest next and I'll do my very best to get them on. Oh, so I've not done a Q&A for quite a while now and there have oh, been God. hundreds of questions. Thank you very much. Keep them coming in. I'm just going to do these. Um, I've not seen any of the questions actually. Rachel's got the list. She's going to ask me and I'm going to um, do my best to give my honest Rachel answer. Rachel accordingly. Always honest. It's important to be honest. Carl, so what do you make of the Jake Paul... Nate Diaz fight. Clark Frotch is hating on Jake Paul, man. Jake Paul, Nate Diaz. Um, it's not a bad fight, is it? Nate Diaz is an Jay MMA Ward. fighter. I know he's boxed Conor McGregor once or twice, maybe twice. Um, coming it's over to boxing, thing. I think when MMA fighters cross over to boxing, I don't think they're very good. They're great in the cage, but I don't think they're very good in the ring. Um, so I think it's a wise... Wise choice for Jake Paul to fight Nate Diaz because it's, it should be a comfortable enough win. And I think Nate, Nate Diaz is half his size as well. He's quite small. Conor, Conor McGregor, what's he? He's like half a leprechaun, isn't he? Um, or is he a full leprechaun? But he's a small geezer. Um, Nate Diaz against Jake Paul, to answer your question. It's not a bad fight at all. Rachel was cracking up in the background. I don't know why. Rachel Corden. Yeah, I would have laughed at that joke. <laughs> Nate Diaz also, he's 38 years old. So it is, it is a wise move for Jake Paul. He, he obviously, he's piped down about me. I'm, I'm not off about fighting him anyway, don't get me wrong. If there's some free bunts going around, I'm going to jump in the ring, knock him out of one arm and take the bunts. But um, he obviously realises he can't fight after the Tommy Fury fight, which, which begs another question. Why is he fighting Tommy Fury? Carl Frotch is hating on Jake Paul, man, like he did with fucking Kyle Zaggy and fucking Andre Ward, man. He does it all the time, don't he, Carl Frotch? Let me go back to base. Say hello to a few people. Let me get set up so we can have a nice little stream. The tire fell cold. Hold on a sec. Let me get this shit set up, man. Someone's given a super chat already, man. It's good of a minute. Mr. Obvious. Who had the bigger schlong in the gym? Bro, it's a bit too early for that, you know. Just give me one sec. Fuck, you know. Let me get these comments on the screen, and Then we can get cracking, a little catch-up, a little quick hello. Let me see if this shit comes up on the screen. Mr. Obvi said, who had the bigger schlong in the gym showers out of Johnny Nelson and Kel Brook? Ask him for a friend. Bro, come on. Johnny Nelson, he had the fucking biggest dick that I'd seen in the gym. Yeah, so shout out to Johnny Nelson. He's doing well dick wise, man. Yeah, who we got in here today? Big up Dean White, hustling, and his brother Dillian. I never had an amateur career, White, yeah. I was gonna message that baby thing, innit? Because I like what he's doing, man. He's got his own merch as well. Black box management. You know, he put on a decent little show as well recently. Got that Boxing King Media guy streaming, so. He's doing bits, that baby thing. I like his energy. Shout out to Sports Card Collectibles. Super chatting me. Five pound, you know, that's good of him. Yes, Tyne. A little poxy five pound for the call. Yeah, you're a regular, you know. This sports card collectible guy, he's, he's here, he's regular. It's good to see, man. Thought I'd go live, innit? You know, try and keep it regular. I went live a few days ago. I needed to recover, you know, after that plenty of fish stream that I did. Fuck, you know. <laughs> Baby Ting is expanding, innit? Yeah, he's growing, man. Knows what he's doing. I like people like that. You know, I've got that fucking get up and go. You know, that hunger to do well. I didn't grow up around people who are fucking entrepreneurial. You know, my immediate family, they just, I don't know, they just lack that fucking ambition, you know, to be their own boss and set up businesses and fucking own a lot of properties and rent them out and shit like that. 
you know, get that passive income streaming, you know, selling merch, being your own boss. So I like people like Baby Ting, you know, and that Boxing King Media guy who are doing bits as well. I love the energy, man. My mate saw you at Prince Patel's fight and said your footwear was like a porpoise. Bro, I just said to you, I like people who invest in property. My old manager, John, you know, he's got a load of houses that I used to rent out. You know, get that passive income. I used to fucking rent one of his houses and I used to turn up to his house with a load of cash, you know, to pay him for the rent. So, Ha ha bro, ha ha, the prime bottle. This is a piss bottle. This fucking bottle here, prime. I had it. I had a drink of it. It's not even that nice. It's fucking, it's got too much sugar in it. It's just overrated, isn't it? It's hype again from KSI. I tried to watch one of his videos, you know, today. And he's, I just can't, I can't get through the video. You know, and he's like putting on that fake laugh. I just can't stand it, man. It's like he's forcing it out. You know, to try and make the video seem funny than they are. It's, it was just draining my energy, man. I had to fuck it off. I watched Andrew Tate talking to Piers Morgan instead, and it was a nice, stimulating chat. Yeah, so... Shout out to Roy Cropper Boxing. Thanks for the super chat. Still chatting to that bird with brain damage. So the last stream I did, yeah, I streamed on this silly dating app, Plenty of Fish. And I joined a woman's stream and she had like brain damage. She had a brain tumor in it. And we was having a chat and she just started talking over me when I was in the middle of talking, innit? She started talking to somebody else. So I was like, fuck this. I ain't putting up with that. You ain't over talking me like that. You know what I mean? When I'm in the middle of a conversation. So I fucked her off, innit? And when I fucked her off, I started dissing her. It turned her on. She found me on Instagram and she was like messaging me saying, oh, can I ring you? I want to talk to you. I really want to talk to you. I want to be a part of the cult, the Thai FL cult. And I was kind of ghosting her in it. I was kind of leaving her on red. Sometimes I'd reply, but... <sighs> Bro. You know, because I didn't take any bullshit from her. It turned her on, man. She started messaging me all night, trying to ring me in that on Instagram. Saying, oh, can I ring you? Can I ring you? I was like, nah. Fuck that. She really wants to fuck me, man. You know, because I've shown her that zero tolerance policy. What are you lot saying, man? You're right, yeah? That's what I go live. I ain't really got anything to say. But I'll just try and keep it regular. Me and Boxing King Media, man, we've got some plans. You know, to go abroad. You know, like an idiot abroad, that Carl Pilkington guy, we're going to do that. You know what I mean? Do a bit of travelling and get some footage, get some content overseas. That's going to be quite good, isn't it? What do you think? Yeah, we're back, man. Try and keep a bit of momentum you know, after my two-week ban. Hey Tyne, is that still the backy you stole? Yeah. See that? I found this at the baby thing show on the floor, so I just picked it up. It saved me a few quid. Someone said you defo fumbled that woman. What do you mean by a fumbled her? What do you mean by that? What are you saying? You're saying I missed out. Some of you was like messaging me saying, oh, you missed out on some possible. You have to keep your pride intact, man. You can't be disrespected by a woman just for a bit of pussy. It's degrading. And because I fucked her off, it made her want to fuck me even more. She stopped following me, messaging me, all kinds of shit. Yeah? Well, sh come on, man. <sighs> he only takes disrespect from men. That's a good question. I've, I've said, like... It's not a question, is it? It's a little statement, but... You know, I say, like, don't take disrespect from women. Like, men, 
they kind of know like not to disrespect other men because they know that they'll probably get smacked in the face but you know with women you know because of that little silly rule that men shouldn't hit women which i don't agree with by the way they think you can act all disrespectful you know and fucking get away with it but a few women in the past have found out the hard way that i don't let them fucking disrespect me man and try and put hands on me you know without getting laid out so someone said they'd rather wank than simp 100 percent man People are begging for plenty of fish. We'll get on there, man. It's still early. We're just 13 minutes in, man. Just getting settled in. Seeing how you lot are doing. Yes, Scouse Neo. Shout out to all the... What's he saying here? Telling you, when I fucking rejected us, it made a horny man, really horny. Is that her there? Yeah, this live is dead. I'll jump back on stream. That's her there, isn't it? And then if that's really her or some little man pretending to be her, I know she's called Haley. If that's really you, tell me what you're saying to me. You know, in my my DMs on Instagram, just say like one message so I know it's you. Because a lot of men just pretend to be women, you know, for attention. Shout out to Callum Smith. Have you bought Andrew Tate's Hustlers University? No. No, I haven't. But you know that Hex Toys, the big sponsor of these videos. He joined like the top level, you know, of Andrew Tate's Hustlers University. I think it's like three grand a month. And that fucking Hex Toys, he's got money on it. And he's proven it, you know, by giving me fucking some serious cash over the years so shout out to that guy as well he's gonna piss in the prime bottle exactly I ain't putting this here to try and promote it this drink's not even that nice it's overrated it's just a piss bottle from now on yeah let me show you what I mean Send this fucking clip to KSI, man. Fake nigga. I'm gonna bring out a drink called grape, I think. Put it in a little green bottle like that. Grape. Someone says no shake, lol. I normally wipe my, my bell end, you know, with a bit of tissue after I've had a piss, but I ain't got time for that right now. So piss is still coming out, you know, in little dribbles. I've got my boxing shorts on. This is what I used to box in, you know, back in the day. Can you see these? Everlast. Yeah, man. Hustlers University is okay, but all the info is available for free elsewhere. That's what it is, isn't it? It's... I think people are so desperate to try and be like Andrew Tate. They, they will sign up and hope to live that life. I want a group. I want a great Rosie Webster, so I do. You know you, Jim McDonald. I see you fucking everywhere, man. What do you do? Like, Tell me your day. What, what does your day consist of, man? I don't want to dish you, innit? Because I know you're a little fan of these lives, but like, what do you do, man? What's your day all about, man? 
So you want him dating us as well? Fucking hell. I want plenty of fish crawling. Alright. Let's do it. Let's see if this woman's on here. Don't be showing me any disrespect again, you know, talking over me when I'm fucking in the middle of saying something. Yes, Ty. Tell us some joke stories about Kel, kid. Joke stories? I ain't got any jokes, man. Scouse Neo. Sorry, Ty, and I fumbled the bag on my last super chat. Shout out to all the NYC downies. Yeah, man, shout out to you lot. Seriously. Official coach Danny. Yes, Danny. Thanks for your advice on the last life. If she talks to her next dude, then bin them off. It's a violation. It is. It's a, it's a fucking... It's a violation. But if you, if you say, listen, if you tolerate disrespect from women, they're not going to be into you for the simple fact that if you do get with her, yeah, and you and the woman are out in public, she's going to have that in her mind that you tolerate disrespect. So if a man comes up to you two when you're on a little date, she'll be thinking like, if a man tries to grab my ass or my posse, this guy that I'm with on a date, you know, he, he accepts disrespect. So he probably won't do anything about this fucking man grabbing my ass or my tits, my posse, yeah? So in their mind, when, when a man tolerates disrespect from a woman, like they don't like it. Because that same man will allow the woman to be violated, you know, if they're in public. So they, they, most men who tolerate disrespect from women, they don't normally get past first base. They normally end up simping on that fucking plenty of fish. So yeah, man, shout out to Danny. Official coach Danny. All right, the people have spoken, you know, it's time for plenty of fish, isn't it? Here's the fucking rejects now. Which one shall I choose? Let's have a look. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's quickly read this before. Yankee Zulu, a little donation to the Maltese head court. Yeah, man, thanks for that. You know, about an hour ago, yeah. This woman started messaging me. She's from Liverpool and she loves licking ass. And I met her in a hotel a few times, you know, to get rimmed. And uh, she just messaged me like saying, what's it like being famous? Uh, someone says, give the sisters some attention, man. No, I can't, man. I don't like black women at all, man. Fucking horrible. I know they'll start giving me back chat as well. So a lot of these black women, they were raised without a dad. They were raised by a single mom, you know, and the mom was like, probably slagging off the dad to say, men ain't shit. Men ain't shit. So that's why a lot of these black women have got bad attitudes, especially towards men, so. You need to stop being aggressive on that plenty of fish. Calm down mentally. No, it's only if they start talking shit or they show disrespect, that's when I start to like step it up on them. When they're nice, I've had a few little friendly chats with a few women who show respect in it, but I can't tolerate disrespect, man. You know, my dad, when my mum kicked him out when I was a kid, he was like sat on the step crying, saying, oh, why don't you want to be with me? You know, to my mum, I was like, what are you doing, man? What are you fucking doing? Are you got any self-respect? And I was just a kid thinking this. So it's not like I'm trying to jump on the Andrew Tate bandwagon now. It's like I've always been like that. When I see my dad crying on the step when my mum kicked him out. She got the mattress. You know that he used to sleep in, in bed with her. She got the mattress and she like chucked it down the stairs. You know, saying take that and sleep on it in the streets. She wanted to get rid of him so much, man. Man's just crying on the fucking step like some little simp. 
used to come into my bedroom as well when I was about 10 years old, you know, and ask for some money out of my money box. You know, so he could buy some weed. That's the kind of fucking father figure that I had, man. But I've done well, you know, to like not end up like that myself and I'm willing to just leave lives when women talk shit to me. Hayley seemed canny enough, but what was she bringing to the table for a high value male like Ty? I don't know, she wasn't bringing anything, man. She was fucking overweight. She's got kids, she's got a brain injury. It's just like, you know, come on, man. When will you have a little pull on a push with Frotch on his fancy YouTube channel? He ain't gonna get me on there. He ain't gonna fucking allow me on there, man. These guys are trying to blackball me, Kogan. Frotch, but Boxing King Media, you know, he's. He's told me to renew my passport you know so me and him can go to Pakistan <laughs> Pakistan what are you saying shout out to all the Asians on here shout out to all the Muslims a few Muslims have been messaging me you know saying I've been showing a bit of disrespect to Islam but it's bullshit Spoke good things about Islam, you know what I mean? They use water, you know, when they clean their asses. You know, if a man wants to get with their daughter, they vet the man, they check him out, they check his criminal history, his work history, they look at his social media to see if he's been posting photos over the years of him in the clubs drinking, snorting coke like Kelbrook. Fucking be vet these men. Now rate Muslims. So stop trying to act like I'm a fucking Islamophobe. Yeah? They're trying to they're trying to get that true Geordie thing going on, aren't they? They're trying to make out like I'm Islamophobic. You know, every time I've been arrested, I've been drunk. So you know, Muslims they don't they're not into alcohol, are they? So I think they I think they got the I think they got the right idea, man. No, don't say that. I'm, I'm not going to put that on the on the screen. Man. It's disrespectful, man. It's disrespectful. Shout out to the Muslims, man. I'm telling you. Shout out to them guys. Shout out to this Scarce Neo guy for the little two pounds. Shout out to Jay Murphy. Moves to Australia in two weeks. I'm not religious myself in it, but you know if I was I wouldn't have got arrested for drink driving and beating up fucking women and men in the streets who tried to fucking put it on me. I wouldn't have been in that drunken environment in the first place. Yeah? You know if I was like a strict little Muslim and that. Is Prince Patel a high value man? Well, he's five foot tall, so that's a disadvantage. He beat up this little black journeyman, you know, that show that I went to. I don't know how much he got paid, to be honest, but he didn't like it, did he, when I said, oh, fuck being a legend and making history. But it's true what I said, like, you know, you remember that Duke McKenzie? He was like a two weight world champ. And he got like two grand, you know, for his world title fights. So it's alright being a legend and making history, but you know if you're broke after boxing and you have to fucking go and work in a factory, it's not good is it? Yeah you've made history but so what? You know if I murdered a little nonce, 
I would be considered a legend, you know what I mean? People would be talking about me saying, yeah, this guy's a legend, yeah, he's a legend, but I'll be in prison for the rest of my life, and it's all, okay, you're saying I'm a legend, well, so what? I'm in prison, you know what I mean? So it's, just enjoy your life, innit? Have a good time, man. All right, let's step it up. Shall I just, like, be a little idiot and say, oh, I'm not going on plenty of fish until you give me a big super chat? That's a bit snidey, isn't it? So I'd do it like Eddie Earn, he'd do it, wouldn't he, Eddie? Eddie Earn would say, I'm not going live on plenty of fish until I get a £20 super chat. Shall I be a bit like Eddie Earn? You know those women on plenty of fish, they don't like it when I wear sunglasses, do they? That's what they're always trying to critique me about, the sunglasses indoors, but... These women are fat, they're single mums, they're fucking rejects on dating apps and they're worrying about my glasses. It'll pop up soon, I'm telling you, it'll pop up, man. You know my little Eddie Earn tactic. It's... Yes, Pac-Man, tying apples and pears brewed, yeah. Yeah. Go on POF, you nonce. Look, they're coming in now, look at that. This loony bin guy, give me two quid. Get on POF before I become loony bin Laden. Oh, come on. You know, when I used to box, I wasn't like business minded. There were some guys who were running around, you know, getting sponsorships from people. But I never did it. I was just like, fuck all that running around shit. Trying to sell tickets as well. It's... That's the thing though, like certain people will, like complain about me dissing like certain groups, but they're happy when I dislike, you know, these fruity fuckers. Or the chews or whatever, so People are biased, aren't they? I said about Coogan as well. Coogan, Coogan said to me that he likes it when I diss Carl Froch and Carl Froch's wife and Terence Crawford and his fat wife. But, you know, the minute I started talking about Coogan's baby mum, he didn't like it at all, did he, Coogan? He started ringing me, like begging me to stop talking about her. So, people are biased, aren't they? Nah, it's good to see you here again, man. What are you saying? Are you having a good time? Sports card collectibles, give me a tenner, you know. Let's have some parliamentary procedure here. Do what man know. Give me a tenner to say that. No, it's appreciated, man. Shout out to that guy, Sports Card Collectibles. Who were the top five super chatters, you know, in my life? Obviously, Hex Toys is number one. I think number two is a guy called Matt Curtis, who gave me £50 on uh, PayPal the other day. You know, so I won't get a 30% fucking deduction from YouTube. That was good of him, wasn't it? Shout out to Matt. It's called Matt Curtis. If, if, if you're watching now, Matt, yeah? You know, if you've got a little business that you want me to promote or put the logo in this video, like Hex Toys, I'll do it, man. Because you've been, you've been supporting for a few years, man. Some people you've never met support you more than your own family, don't they? You know, your family, because they've seen you from like a little kid. They see you and they see like you elevating and they just start hating, you know, because they haven't necessarily you know, stepped up in life. So they start hating, man. You know what I mean? Have you noticed that? And when I say like, fuck working in a factory, like a slave working for somebody else, set up your own business, you know what I mean? Get a load of properties, rent them out, get that fucking passive income stream, be your own boss, sell merch. 
they think that you're looking down on them, you know, you know your family, they start acting all fucking silly, man. So I had to just disconnect myself from some people, you know, because they don't match my energy at all. I like people like Baby Ting, you know, and Boxing King Media, who have got that drive to fucking step up and, you know, be entrepreneurial and own businesses and sell merch, put on boxing events and stuff like that. I like that energy, man. Shout out to Aaron Smith. Sorry for calling you the other weekend time while I was on the sesh. Wanted you to tell my mate to be safe, yeah? Do what man now. Yeah, thanks for the Aaron Smith. Well, I'm gonna give you what you want, man, because I've had a lot of super chats already, Anna. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Let's get someone local. Be safe. Why? Hi, Mr. Uh, Marble. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm a bit of a catfish, but I'm fine. Why are you looking at catfish? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, How the fuck are you? A catfish, you look like your fucking profile. You did what you want to watch. Oh, he's simping, man. Rest in peace, Bruce Lee. Do you want man no? You are here. You look decent. I'm doing the most come out of the night, Jack, for all my screens. <laughs> so which one which one am I then? Am I reject low life? Very Junkie scumbag loser, I think on. <laughs> what? She's doing BJ signals. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. You chill out. Shall I join this live chat? Shall I have a little word with her? See what she's doing. She's, she's quite nice, to be fair. She loves grapes. Shall I skip or shall I join this? No, she loves peaches. No, she's dead, man. Yeah, be safe. Is Dave Allen from Donny here? Huh? She don't know Dave I Allen, man. I'll ask him. Look, she don't know boxing like that. Come on, man. What are you saying? Join or skip? Shall I join, yeah? You weird fucking people. All right, let me join this. You act weird. Huh? He's my favourite serial killer, Ted Bundy. Yeah, man, that's a good shout, you know. That's a good shout, isn't it? You like murder? I don't know. Come here and I'll show you. All right, let me just join this thing. Try and get rid of that guy, innit? Do you like Maltesers? No. And who says poof to you fucking saddle? My guy from Sheffield. Give it a rest, man. It's like Ben's request. Who the fuck's Ben? So who the fuck? I know this guy's gonna piss me off, you know, if I join this fucking box here. Get in there, bro. No. Let's not. I sent her a request in. Ben. We'll let Ben in the box. I'm good. I'm good. You wanna fuck this one, man? Ben is an Easter egg. She's getting, she's getting... Ben could be a fucking bob and I still won't let him in the box. No, you see what I mean? You see that arrogance there. You see that fucking arrogance on that fat cunt. You see that? Did you hear all that talk from her, man? Fucking... <sighs> no, that was dead, man. She's a bit stuck up, isn't she? Even though she's overweight. Fuck, we got kids in it. Baggage and shit. Fucking desperate simp in the, in the box, chatting. Saying, you look like your picture. She was like, no, I'm not letting him join. I'm not letting him join, but... Let's go back to base, man. Did you ever hear about Naz if he regretted how things ended with Brendan? Did he go to the funeral? No, he wasn't allowed to go to the funeral, you know, Nasi Mamed. He's, Brendan's family said you can't you can't come, man. So none of them were there, innit? Someone says at least be six out of ten if you're gonna be arrogant. That's it, man. That's it, that's what I'm saying. Because a load of these fucking desperate men tell them that they look like the pictures and they're fucking amazing and all this other shit. You get an overinflated ego, don't they? Let's see if that other woman's on here with the brain damage. Let 
Let me just read this shit out here. This guy's gonna be a nice little 20 quid straight out of the bin. You should do your own version of that fresh and fit podcast time. That's what I mean, yeah. I like that channel. That's that's the fucking that is the plan, isn't it? I don't know how long I could keep doing this, you know, talking to these these fucking scumbags. It's it's a bit it's a bit draining, isn't it? Get a podcast studio. You know what? I spoke to my accountant today, yeah. And uh there's been a bit of progress. But yeah, a podcast studio. will come off my tax bill, innit? Fuck you now. Let me just look for someone else. <laughs> what age are you? She's what? half decent. What age are you? I'm 19. Mm. We're only 19. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm 30, so. Up to the girl, obviously, but. Send her a request. Why does everyone start trying to jump in the box when I get some money? Great work. What do you mean? Hi. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm good right, here. There's going to be a load of people who join your live, you know, in the chat in the chat box. Have you noticed? Hi. Have you noticed a little increase or not? Um. What are they saying? What are they saying? What are they saying? What What's going on? What are you up to anyway? What's going on? I'm just chilling, what are you doing? You don't mind me streaming this on YouTube, do you? I've got a YouTube channel and I'm just streaming on there, so... On YouTube? We're getting you a bit of fame. You want to be on Love Island, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, get, yeah, we'll get you on there, innit? What's your name? What's going on? You alright, yeah? Yeah, I'm good with you. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm just doing a little YouTube live stream. Just talking to a few women on here. Finding... Do you do that? Say that again, yeah, yeah. I'm just reading the comments now. The fellow in the box. You're not underage, are you? Esther, are you like a big... I've got a nice little YouTube following, so we're just uh, streaming on here and just talking to a few women. All right. Okay. Yeah. What are you up to anyway? What's going on with this dating app scene? Are you having a good time or not? It depends. Have you had sometimes, a look? Sometimes I get a lot of trolls, but this one's actually been all right. What are the trolls saying? What do they normally say to you, though? It's not stuff to say to me. It's people in the box. Oh, the men in the box. Yeah. Oh, they start wanking and that. Acting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and you do. They... Boys will start arguing and stuff, and it's just. They're fighting over women, aren't they? They're yeah, fighting for that sexual attention, aren't they? These men. I think so, yeah. They get a bit she horny. Ask him about his What does that mean? What do you say? Ask him about his... No, it's not good. She has the status of a plum. What does that mean? The status of a plum. Have you ever heard that song before? No. She needs a packet of Haribo's battered onion rings. What is going on? <laughs> Ask the guy in the box if he likes rimming with a cherry on top. What is going on? You like? What is going on here? Do you like the attention? We'll get you on Love yeah. Island, yeah. But have you got sexual assault charges? Have I? Mm. No, I am. Don't listen to that kind of. They're trying to cock block, you know. Trying to. <laughs> they're trying to diss me, you know, because I'm talking to a woman and that. So how long have you been on here? What? Plenty of fish or YouTube? Both. About two years. Your account's fairly new, isn't it? How do you know that? You can, I can tell by your um, your stars and your rookie status and that. Oh, you're saying I'm on a low level, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Are you on a high level? No, but with you being... With all this going on here, I thought you'd be quite big. I only join it like when I do these YouTube videos, so I'm not like a guy who's, you know, desperate. Yeah, it's fuck this shit, man. 
Because there's meet me as well, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you met anybody on here? No. All online, yeah? yeah? I don't trust this pot. You don't trust these catfishers? No. I All mean, the I'm... animals come out at that. Wow. Oh, thank you for the gifts. Show her your piss bottle then. Are you a Turkish asylum seeker? Does size matter? Who do you think sniffs more, Hatton or Brook? I don't know who they are. You don't know Kel Brook? Do you know Anthony Joshua? Yeah, yeah. What do you think of him? Boring, isn't he? He's, he's had his time, hasn't he? Yeah, he's finished. He's lost his heart. He's, he's lost his bottle, man. You think he gets beat by Tyson Fury, yeah? Do you think they'll fight? I don't know. They're just fucking about, man. I've lost interest. It's just dragging on, isn't it? Mm. Who's your favourite boxer? My favourite boxer? Yeah. Probably Anthony Joshua, but... Oh, that, that fucking Joshua, but, yeah. Um, does she ever melt Maltesers and will pop Maltesers over her? Who is this Brandon? What did he say? He says, does she ever melt Maltesers and rub hot Maltesers over her mouth? BJ signals. Blowjob signals. Wow, what is going on? You look cute. Is this the most lively your chat's been since I joined, yeah? I mean, like, before, like... Calvin. What the fuck? What's he saying? He always joins and he like calls me a slag and stuff. Are you a slag? I must be. How many men have you fucked? How many men have I fucked? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit straightforward, isn't it? Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, real talk. Twelve. You banged twelve men at nineteen years old, that's that's high that is. You love dick, yeah? <laughs> What's the nicest dick you've had? What? What's the nicest dick you've had? I don't know. Size don't... wise. Is it length or girth? I don't want to talk about this. You've already told us that you've got 12 bodies on your right. record. But you're on YouTube, right? We're going to make you famous. Get you on Love Island. Yeah? I doubt that. Molly May. I doubt that. Tommy Fury. One man a year starting from age seven. No. Right, these comments. You're loving them. You're loving the attention, man. I can tell you're smiling. No, I'm not. Your face is bright. <laughs> Your face has brightened up since I fucking joined, man. You're enjoying the attention, yeah? yeah? It was boring and then you've jumped in. Yeah, here. that's it, man. Livened it up. That's what I like to hear, you know. Levels. She's being used. See, this is what I mean. What do you say? She's being used. When was the last time you fucked somebody? When was the last time? Mm. About two weeks ago. What happened? Talk me through it. What do you mean? Talk me through the bedroom experience, the bedroom encounter that you had. No, it just tried it for ages. Mm. Like, ages. And then... You eventually gave in? Yeah. Yeah, man. A good sex or not? Lasted 20 seconds. Is that it? Oh, that's fucking quick, man. <laughs> but it was trying for like two hours, so. What do you mean? Any foreplay or? Yeah. But you're on YouTube. If it's yeah. easy, it's not going to be good, is it? Yeah, man. You didn't mention names or anything, but what was the foreplay like? What was the foreplay like? Yeah. Because women expect men to know like what they're doing, innit? But every woman's different. Like, I don't like having my balls sucked. But some men do, so it's like... It, you know, it's different yeah, based some on... Some girls like, like the bum hole licking and stuff, don't they? they? Some women like their bum hole licked. Or they like yeah. doing it. Someone's trying to get in the box, but 
Now go back to bomb hole licking. What did you say? What do you mean? What did I say? You you mentioned bomb hole licking. I wanted to because uh, I didn't. Uh, I want you to expand on um, it. Some boys like like it. Uh, what getting licked or licking? Getting licked. Yeah. Have you ever licked ass? No. Why not? Dirty. I don't like the thought of it. I wash my ass with water. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still like. I, and I put a rubber glove on and like put my fingers that's in my a arsehole. Hole. Yeah, that's but I. A hole it's a, comes out of. No, but I'm saying I put on a rubber glove and like really wash my arsehole, you know, with my fingers. That's not ordinary <laughs> for men, is it? Yeah, but still. Most men use tissue, don't they? So it don't really do the job, does it? Mm. How do you wipe your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Talk me through it. Baby wipes. Oh, baby wipes. Baby wipes. Yeah, they're okay. They're they're a bit moist, aren't they? They're a bit moist. So yeah, that's. Uh, yeah. yeah I don't feel clean if I don't use a wipe. Yeah, that's the same with me. You know, I used to, I have to like blast my crack with the shower. After what? I have to blast my ass crack. You know, with the shower. You know, spread my cheeks. You know, really get stuck in. They say a man's G spots in his ass. Yeah. The... <laughs> yeah, you've been in someone's ass, haven't you? I can tell you're loving no. it. You have, man. No, but I have a boy best friend who's very. Who talks to me about stuff like that. He likes it. That's what? All what by men or women? By women. Oh, that's all right. What he gets, he gets a woman banging yeah, him. Have you had your bum all licked? Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's like a tingling feeling, you know, in the arse. So it's quite good. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, it's ting I'll shave my arse as well, so it's, <sighs> it's it's quite clean for the woman to do it. Lovely. Yeah, I love this conversation, you know. I've been looking for it all night. <laughs> You've delivered. I've delivered. Mm. Good, good. Have you ever put on a strap on and banged a man in his ass? No. Like true Geordie? No. Mm. I've never gone near a boy's bum. You will, is do you? Normal? Like, is this like what it's like on every live that you're going for? Yeah, they're kind of sick. They like murder. They like grape. They like rimming talk. You know, all that weird shit. Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, is that what they're on about when they say great? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you're not allowed to say the R word on YouTube, so. Right, okay. Why are they talking about grape? I've seen a few comments asking about grape and I don't get it. But you know the R word? Yeah. Do women fantasize about that, really? No. You know, a man being dominating and really physical and getting stuck in and that. Yeah, but there's been dominating and there's been great, like. Because a woman said to me, like, when I'm banging her, you know, if she says stop, what will I do? And I said, carry on. And she said, good answer. Yeah, but that's, that's called, um, can't remember the term, consensual, non-consensual. Consent. Like. Yeah, Consent. Consensual, not consensual. Like some girls are into that. Yeah, but where they say. You have to make sure you have like a safe word. Where they say stop, what they really mean like carry on kind of thing. You know, it's like role play, isn't but, it? But then you'll have a safe word. What's a safe word for you? I don't have one because I'm not. You're, not, that. you're not that freaky. No. You're only 19. When you get to 30, you'll be a freak. You'll lick ass. You'll finger men's assholes. All kinds of shit. You're sucking on your thumb. When I start talking about, like, yeah, man. I don't think I will. Where are you? What city are you in? I'm in Bradford. Oh, that's local. Yeah, that's local. Now, where are you from? Uh, I'm in uh, South Yorkshire, so I'm like 20 minutes away. Are these all your friends? Yeah, yeah, we're a cult of You're perverts. A cult, we're a cult yeah. of perverts, yeah. It's getting weird, isn't it? It's getting dark, dirty. 
you best be careful, you go why? I love you. One bit, add me to the box. Can I add people to the box or not? Yeah, add them. Who is it, men or women? Two boys. Yeah, add them, add them, add them, add them. Okay. Mm. No, fuck that. I don't fucking play those games at all, man. Straight out of there, man. You understand? Straight out, man. Bro, straight out, man. Back to base, you know what I mean? Fuck that. No sausage fest going on here, man. We had a good little chat with her. She was all right. She was all right, but nah, to get out of there, man. Fuck that. Back to base, man.